Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. So my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. It's Friday night. What? <laughs> We're doing Sudsy Cocktail. <laughs> a mermaid in a drink with some rubber duckies and some bath time fun. I don't know. It's all good. Uh, I know my videos are kid friendly, but you could easily put the mermaid in a bathtub if you wanted to. So uh, just keep that in mind for your creative self. Say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. Let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. We have to give props to you know who, who. Little man's running around like a crazy dog. So, before he destroys something, <laughs> let's let him say hello to you guys. Say hi, buddy. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> yes, yes, you're so excited. Was, yes, I know, I know. Say hi to everybody. Yes, yes. Yes, are you telling everybody everything that's going on? Yes, yes, you are. All right, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. All right, you ready? You ready for your treat? I know, you have mommy trained. That's all there is to it. <laughs> there you go. Bye! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, let me show you my handy-dandy table, and then we'll get to uh, roll call, okay, guys? So... Of course, we have the Java, very, very important. We got the water. We got the weapons this evening. Big boy, he is a one-inch flat. We have uh, Mini-Me in the house. He is a small shader. We have Tiny, uh, small round for details. Of course, Mr. Nifty is here. He's even tinier for details. He goes on the side. Same colors every single party. Black, white, red, blue, and yellow. Shoot, roll call time. Oh, yeah. So who we got going on here? Tina B's in the house. Hello, 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 Tina B. How are you doing, sweetheart? We got Tina B in the house. And let's see who else we got. Debbie's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, Debbie. How are you, doll? April is here. Hello, 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 April. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, Sam is hanging out with us tonight. Hi, hi, Sam. You can't stay long, April. What's up with that? Why not? <laughs> Why not? What's the deal? What? What? What's the deal, huh? Hmm? 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 All right. Let me flip you guys around and put you in your handy-dandy holder. Penny's here. Penny got her brushes. What? Hello, 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 Penny. You got your brushes all the way in Canada. Uh, I, I don't know. I have to look at the shipping. Uh, see what the deal was. Um, so we'll uh, figure that all out. All right. And uh, here you guys go. Woot. Handy dandy holder time. Oh, yeah. You guys ready for your jolt? You ready for your jolt? Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I know you guys felt that. I know you guys felt that. Let me move you a little closer. So you can get the whole entire thing. I cannot show you both at once, so take a screenshot. All right, so you can have your uh, reference photo if you need it. Um, your daughter is here. Oh, so why isn't you and your daughter painting? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Carolyn is here. Hello, 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 Carolyn. How are you doing, sweetie? All right, so I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. It is 16 this way, 20 straight up and down. If you're working on something different, smaller, larger, whatever, as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in, you will be fine. All right, let's get some uh, light on the subject here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Let there be light, and light there was. That's still a little bright, right? It's adding a little bit of a glare. Let's tone it down. Tone it down, Eve. Tone it down. Tone it down. Just a bit. There we go. There we go. I think that should be better. Yes. <laughs> Much better. Yes, you finally found me. All right, Joan. Hi, Joan. How are you doing? Hello, 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 Marie Marie. How are you, sweetheart? Marie Marie is in the house. Joan found me. Joan, how long have you been watching my videos? Sure. <laughs> how long have you been watching my videos for? 
and you finally found me. You're a nutball, you know that? Oh, that reminds me, all of my videos are kid-friendly, so I am going to try to watch this thing. If you guys could watch your comments, uh, stars is enabled for support. Um, let's set a goal. I don't know, you guys had a trouble uh, hitting that 2,000 goal last time, so let's put 1,500. All right, so uh, stars are a penny. All right, uh, approximately, so you know what you're spending. I also have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, the links can all be found on my website, www.easeartistry.com. If you open the first page, you'll see a list of buttons. You'll see a button that says support. That will lead you to PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, all of those good things. All right, guys? So make sure you're not hitting on any other buttons. Make sure that whoever's making a button or saying click here make sure the post has my name attached to it otherwise you'll see some weird name that posted it a weird picture not me okay so just keep that in mind just keep that in mind all right guys because the spammers are out there they're out of control they make it look pretty legit and it's not so just pay attention to the bubble and the name next to it of who's making the post and if you don't see eve on there it's not me all right, uh, control and filters. I'm going to try. All right, so those of you following my make em ups journey, I went with uh, pink and aqua and blue to uh, snazz it up. Pink and blues and aqua's in her tail. So there you go. <laughs> my fun little hobby that I do. My fun little hobby. Takes me two hours to do this, guys, just to let you know. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> That's why if you're messaging me right before the live, I don't get it. I'm too busy playing with my face. Just uh, give you guys a heads up. Um, yeah, you always see those posts, but you never fall for it. Good, Sam. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. All right. So we got lots to do tonight. So uh, I want to get started. All right, everybody got their screenshots. Swipe the comments to the left, and you can take your screenshots. Of course, replays are always, always available on my YouTube channel. That also can be found on my website. If you go to the website, you hit the button linked. That opens up a page. It has all of my social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Everything's there for you to be able to access all of my different social media platforms. If you're on YouTube, please hit subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it does help me. Also, you will get notified once the videos are posted. Whew! Did I get everything, fam? Did I get everything? I think I got everything. I got roll call going on. I think I got everybody on roll call. And we're going to get started. So, um... Let's do it. Cheers, everybody. All right, pay no attention to what's on this canvas underneath. Um, if I turn around and use the new canvas for every party, I'd be uh, I'd be losing money. <laughs> so don't pay any attention to that. We're covering it up. I just hit my ceiling with the painting, but it's all good. It is all good. All right, we're starting off with uh, Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat, and I'm going to grab a whole lot of white. A whole lot of white, because i got to cover some. So we've got a whole lot of white and a little bit of red. Whole canvas, guys. Whole canvas. All right, so you want this to be a lighter pink uh, on my original I had a very difficult time uh, making her uh, skin tone because um, my pink is uh, darker on this one. So it was very hard to make this skin tone to be a different than the pink background. So I'm going to do on this, on the one I'm painting tonight, I'm going to make this lighter. I'm going to make that lighter so it's easier. It's easier to have a skin tone on here, and we don't have to worry about it um, blending into the pink too much. Okay, blending into the pink too much. So, uh, white and red, white, and a little bit of red, and we're going to fill this whole thing up. 
If you want nice soft tones, you're just going to uh, keep uh, blending over it, and they will all blend together. Make sure you don't have any goopy gobs. All right, no goopy gobs. Make sure you're uh, pulling this nice and thin and flat across your canvas so we can add everything else to it. We can add everything else to it. See those things? Those are called brush strokes. You go from one end to the other, and they smooth right out. They smooth right out. All right, I have to grab uh, more white paint. I already used all the white paint that is on my palette. Oh, a lot of white. Oh, a lot of white. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lot of white. So, my TikTok live was actually last night because uh, I had the magazine signing event on Tuesday night. So, usually on Tiki Talk, I'm live on Tuesdays, but it was last night. So, I'm feeling kind of like disjointed because I just did this yesterday. <laughs> I just did this yesterday. <laughs> And here I am again tonight. So, it's all good. It's just a little weird. It just feels a little weird to me. Right? You know how you're used to a certain schedule or used to something. And then, uh, you know, if you change the day or you do it a different way or something like that, then uh, it just feels weird. It just feels weird. It's not what you're used to. It's not what you're used to. How was the festival? The festival I did on uh, Saturday, right? So I painted with you guys right before that. Um, the festival was very nice. Um, I did post a vid on the festival. If you want to check it out, there is a video posted of me being there and my display. Uh, I did not uh, sell any art to anybody. That's okay. That is all right. Um, but I did face paint lots and lots and lots of faces. So we had, uh, I offered uh, free face painting for um, uh, tips only, and uh, I wound up face painting a lot of lovely little faces. It was a very good day. The weather was perfect. The people were perfect. Um, my sister always helps me out, so she was perfect. Uh, she's, my, uh, she's my rock star. She helps me out with uh, my shows, and she is also my technical person so she posts all the videos onto youtube for me she uh created the etsy shop to uh, purchase my art so if any of you guys are interested in owning an eve's uh artistry original right uh all of these paintings the um you know the one that i paint initially to advertise and to show you guys what we're doing those are all for sale those are all for sale. So now this is getting a little tacky on me. So I'm going to do the uh, dip trick. I'm going to do the dip trick, right? So we're going to dip our brush into some water. Do the little horizontal tap. And come in here with a brush that has a little more water on it. So if your paint starts to get a little tacky. And it's not blending for you very well. You can do the dip trick. The tab on your Facebook page that says go to live here works great and very helpful. I didn't even know that was a thing, Becky. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? So there's a tab on my Facebook page that says go to live. Does that show up if you're following my page? Or is that there for everybody? Do I have any, t um, it's something new. Yeah, they're, they're, they add stuff and change stuff, uh, all the time. And, um, I, I have to like refigure stuff out. So that's kind of like a new thing that's actually helpful. Do I have any tips for a transformer painting? You're doing one for your brother's birthday. I don't cause you follow, you follow my page. Well, thanks for the follow Becky. All right, yeah, I guess it's something new that they added, um, which is awesome. So you're saying it's very helpful and it works. 
Okay, so that's good. That's awesome, Becky. Um, Sam, if you're doing a uh, cartoon character, a cartoon type painting, what I suggest is that you paint your background first. You let it completely dry, and then you draw with uh, chalk on your background. You draw in your character that you're going to paint. Okay, once you have it drawn in, you're going to uh, block it all out in white. Block it all out in white. Once you have it blocked out in white, then it's just a matter of coloring it in. And when you color it in, your colors are going to come out bold and bright. Also, if you screw something up, the white is very easy to blend out. So, you just uh, add your background color and it goes away. Alright, so just keep that in mind. Some tips for you. Alright, I'm doing the um, the damp brush trick. I just want to uh, soften this out some more. Alright, so I'm just taking the damp brush trick, right? Dip it in your water, do a little horizontal tap. I mean vertical tap. I'll, I'll figure out what I'm trying to say eventually. And... Uh, adds a little more water to your paint and you can soften and thin and flatten everything out you're welcome sweetie okay so now that we have our background on we're gonna map in where our cocktail glass is going and like I said if you're doing this with the kiddos that's okay uh, you could all very very simply put her in a bathtub instead of the drink I just like to play on words <laughs> that it's a cocktail. <laughs> uh, hello, 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 Kimberly. How are you doing, sweetheart? Kimberly, get coming in under the wire. Kimberly, not going in the corner because I didn't do anything but the background. So we're gonna have some new rules for going in the corner since you guys initiated this whole late to class thing, which I think is hysterical. Number one, I can definitely be bribed. All right, so our SARS gold tonight is uh, 1500 They're a penny each, so you guys do the math. Um, so number one, I could be bribed. But number two, we're going to do that you're in the corner if you come in um, after I'm done doing the background. So we'll give everybody a little bit of wiggle room because I'm late to everything. <laughs> so if you come in, and, my, and I'm already starting the details of the painting. Then you're in the corner. So, Kimberly, you just made it. You just made it, doll. You just, just, just made it. All right. So, you can easily stick your mermaid in a bathtub if you want to. If you're going to do the bathtub, you're just going to do a horseshoe down here. Right? Do a little rim for the, um, I missed you. Hi, Marsha. How are you doing, sweetheart? I did miss you, sweetie. I totally missed you. I'm sorry. Uh, you can just do a little scoop for the tub shape, a little, uh, a little ridge on it. And then everything we do when we draw the mermaid is going to stay exactly the same. It's going to stay exactly the same. Okay. So, I'm Swirl Tap Dab and Big Boy. All right, I'm going to grab my uh, white paint. I'm going to put it just on the tip of the brush. Jeanette, I missed you too. Cheese and crackers. T what is, uh, fa I almost called it Tiki Top. What's Facebook doing? Or is it me? Is it me? We're going to blame the technology. I'm blaming Facebook. Hi, Jeanette. How are you doing, doll? Um, I'm going to blame the technology. All right, we've got to find our center. Home. Let's find our center. Let me sneak up behind you guys. I'm whispering in your ear so I can mark my center. There it is. There's the center. All right, so we found our center. Okay, once we have our center, we're going to grab some more uh, white paint just on the edge of the brush. And we're going to turn around, and you want to make a uh, triangle around your center. So, now, keep in mind, your mermaid is going here. Don't put your glass all the way up here, 
right? The mermaid is going where the center dot is, okay? So you want to bring your glass down below that, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're just making a triangle. That's all we're doing, okay? Just making a triangle. Once you have that triangle made, I'm going to grab some more paint. Right, we're making our triangle. There's the triangle. Okay, and then I want to go down. I want to do a straight line down on either side. So I'm holding my brush towards the back. I'm going straight up on my canvas. I have a nice sharp edge. Right, I'm going to follow this and drop. I'm going to follow this and drop. Okay. And you're going to take that right off the canvas. Right off the canvas. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, that's crooked. Is that crooked? It looks crooked. Is it crooked? It's a little crooked. Alright, let's fix that. It's a little crooked, just like me. Just like me, I'm a little crooked. There we go. There we go. Now, my background's still wet. That's why this is blending out. And that's actually a good thing because I can put this in better once this dries with some more white paint. And this is all going to look like reflection in the stem of the glass. So, we are okay with that blending out. Alright, now, is my glass big enough to fit my mermaid? No. <laughs> it is not. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to make it bigger. Right? This is why we do stuff in white paint. This is why we matte. This is why we can make adjustments. We can make adjustments to our painting. And what am I going to do with the lines I already drew? I'm just going to grab some red and white. I'm just going to grab some red and white and blend it all out. Remember when I was telling you how uh, you can blend your mapping lines out if you need to? See? Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. And put this back in there so I can see it. Put this back in here so I can see it. And boom. All right. Now, I need to let this dry because if you guys notice that when I painted it and the tackiness, the paint is actually lifting up off of my canvas. So if you ever have that situation where you're trying to paint something and it's actually taking the paint off and not putting it on, that means that your paint got very tacky or you're using brown or purple because brown and purple do that. Uh, so what you need to do is let it dry completely. Let it dry completely, and then you'll be able to turn around and um, do what you need to do. Hi, Katie. Um, you swipe, Joan. Katie, you're in the corner. <laughs> you're in the corner. Oh, the PayPal link is also featured. If you don't want to deal with the PayPal link, you just hit the little X and it goes right off of your screen. working I don't know somebody can somebody have another suggestion for Joan to get comments off of her screen I'm not really sure hon what kind of phone you got Joan um so this is the good side and then that's the side in the corner Katie <laughs> all right I need to let this dry so if I missed you let me know but I have as far as roll calls concerned Marsha Tina B Debbie April Sam Penny Carolyn Marie Joan, Becky, Kimberly, Jeanette, and Katie is here. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, I'm not really sure, sweetheart. Okay, so. Now, you guys know that I am not going to paint every single circle tonight. You guys already know that. I'm going to show you how to do them. Um, but yours has a down arrow on the row below where to enter comments. Oh, okay. There's an arrow down or something, Joan. All right. So I'm going to show you how to paint them. But am I going to paint every single one of these circles? No, because I already did it. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to paint the bubbles. All right. We're going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do the mermaid with the tail, all of that good stuff. How to do the hair with the uh, shading. So you guys, um, her little puff, she has a little puff in her hand. She has a book in the other hand. So, you guys know 6,000% um, that uh, I'm going to bring you to about layer 3. Now, this painting has probably about 5 to 6 layers on it. Alright, that's why it looks as bright and fun and the circles look very, very uh, neat and popping at you. Okay, so it's going to take a lot more layers of paint. It's up to you how much time you want to invest into it. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to show you how to paint them, but I'm not going to do all six layers. We'll be here for the week and a half that it took me to paint this. So I know I didn't post this till a couple of days ago. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Um, it took me a lot longer to paint it than I expected. So, but as soon as I had it done, I also have a treat for you guys tonight. Um, I have the painting for next Friday finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we're all set on that one. Okay, so that's going to be your surprise tonight. You'll get to check that out, and then you will see the event page posted. It is also, uh, the Live in Large series is done. The little snippets I do of the process of the entire painting. I just did it for the bouquet in the vase, right? So that's finalized. I did the last segment of that uh, a week or so ago. So there's a new Live in Large series coming. So the painting I'm going to show you guys, we are doing it next Friday. I'm going to do a live and I'm going to show you how to paint it. But it is also the next Live in Large series. So you're going to see snippets of me painting the painting with the music and, and explaining how I was doing stuff in that little snippet. So yes, you're going to see that. But yes, I'm still painting it with you live next Friday. All right, so don't don't get confused. Don't think that you're not going to have the opportunity to paint the painting with me. It's just that it's I also filmed it, so it's the next Live in Large series. Okay, guys, series ten. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to explain that to you, so you didn't get uh, confused. All right, we got a map in our mermaid. So I'm going to take uh, Mini Me. I'm going to take uh, Mini Me, alright, he is a small shader, and I'm going to take white paint, and we're going to swoop, we're swooping everybody, so right here in the center of my glass, I'm going to turn around, and at the top, you want to have two pieces angling out, and then you're going to bring that in, swoop it around, and that's her badonka donk. Okay, that is her badonka donk right there. Okay, now start off small because the more you play with it, you know the bigger it's going to get. Okay, so there's her badonka donk. And we can fill that in. Right, fill and fix. Fill and fix. Fill and fix. Oh yeah, do I have any tips to what to do? After high school graduation, um, well, before graduation, you should probably sit with your high school counselor, Sam. So uh, this way you uh, have somebody giving you suggestions that knows your academic uh, levels and knows your interests and everything else. 
So, my suggestion is before you graduate to sit down with one of your high school counselors to make a plan for yourself as far as what your choices should be after graduation. <laughs> my water looks like uh, Pepto-Bismol, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, back when you used to have to drink that chalky stuff before they made it into pills. All right. Uh, now, once we have that, I'm going to grab some more white paint. And I'm going to come over behind you guys to make sure it's even Steven. So I want to do a triangle out. Okay. Now this, this right here, and we're doing a swoop around for the top. Uh, this right here is this same size as that. It's the same size as that. Okay. Now we need her arms. So I'm going to follow this around and pull out. Okay, slap the arm at the waist. Follow this around, pull out. Stop the arm at the waist. Okay, then you need the piece going up. Make this thinner, right? Don't make this so fat. Make this nice and thin. Okay, round the elbow. Now we need her head and neck. Okay, so I'm going to go in the middle of here. Now, make her neck. Right, just swoop outwards. Okay, there's her neck. And I just want to even out these shoulders a little bit. Now, be uh, really paying attention to your neck because I always wind up losing the neck. So as you're playing with stuff, smoothing out the shoulders or doing whatever, make sure you don't lose your neck. I always lose the neck for some reason. I don't know why. All right? Once we have that, turn around and do an oval for her head. Parentheses, parentheses. Now her head is half the torso. Remember our rule of twos, right? So I want your head to be half the torso. Okay, so if I measure this, right, it's there. Then halfway would be here with my brush. And then put my brush up there to make sure that my head is half the torso. Now that we have all that, we're going to map in the tail. Oh, yeah. So the tail is coming out over by her shoulder area right here. And you're going to do a line up like that. Wrap it around. And drop it in. Okay. Uh, out of the side of the glass here, curve, swoop, there it is, there's our tail, right, 
Okay, once you add that, I'm going to wiggle do and wiggle do. Wiggle it in, wiggle it in, and there's the points on our tail. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to uh, fill in her body area here. Okay, fill and fix, smooth out anything that needs to be smoothed out. And we're go I'm going to fill in the tail area here. Filling in the tail, filling in the tail. Now, you see how I'm painting with Mini Me? Uh, if Mini Me is new, pull like this and dab when you're when you're painting with Mini Me. Okay, don't do the zigzag zoom. My brush is beat up. It doesn't have a perfect uh, flat edge on it anymore. So I can get away with doing this zigzag zoom stuff uh, because I'm not worried about keeping my edge nice and pristine. If you're working with a brand new mini me, uh, you want to dab and pull. Okay, this way. You leave your edge nice, nice. Okay, this part connects here with a nice little rounded piece, right? So follow this out, round it out, connect it to the other part of the tail. Ketchup mustard time. Ketchup mustard time. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing all right? Hanging in there? It's uh, rainy, rainy. It was raining yesterday. It's raining today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We got rainy, rainy, rainy going on in Joyzy. So, how's everybody doing out there? Hmm? <laughs> You're awful quiet tonight. You're just zoning out 6,000%. Uh, Katie's being awful quiet because she's in the corner. <laughs> Got to wait to see if somebody else comes in late. Okay, and uh, Stars is enabled, guys. So um, if you'd like to send support, you know me. I offer every single video for free. Um, it's all done with uh, your guys' generous support. So um, you keep the lights on and you keep Butters having his treats. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, also, again, if you go to the website, use linked, you'll see PayPal. Um, Venmo, Cash App, all those sorts of things, all right? If you want the brush sets or the paint kit or our awesome shirts with our sayings, that is also on the website under Merchandise, all right? You'll also see all the art on the website, uh, different pages for different uh, modalities, okay? I, I got my little, look, I found my scrunchies. I forgot I had these, and uh, it's got a little bow on it. <laughs> I'm feeling my little bow. I'm feeling my little bow. All right. So the next thing I want to do is uh, you got to map in all of your sud circles. All right. Ah, sounds good, Tina B. Your last class of semester. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! Good for you, one. Good for you. Okay. So, you guys know how to make circles, all right? Um, you know, a few different ways to make a circle, okay? Uh, you can turn around and scribble circle, right? Just put your brush up against the canvas and scribble around. Okay, so you get a circle shape. Uh, you could also turn around and do parentheses, parentheses, right? Parentheses that way, parentheses this way. Get a circle shape, and 
and the ever uh, popular, which I don't actually particularly like, but other people do, is push and spin, right? You push it against the canvas, and then you spin your brush around. I don't like this one. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like it. <laughs> I'd rather do a scribble circle. But if you put your brush up against the canvas and you spin it around, shoop, you get a circle. All right, three ways to make a circle. So you want to add in all of these circles, okay, for your suds. However you want your suds to be. These are suds, not bubbles. All right, so uh, that's why there's um, they're colored in. That's why there's no uh, highlight on them because they are suds. All right, if you don't want to do um, all of the... Uh, circles for the suds you could very easily just make like a little sud cloud if you want to right you can do that also if you don't want to do the circles you can do like a little sudsy uh ooh, that's a big old circle um you can do a little sudsy puff right and just color that in so it's up to you it's your suds do what you want to do with your suds. It's up to you what you want to do as far as the suds are concerned. Now, as I got towards the top of the glass, I just made them smaller. Now, I'm putting suds up where her hand is going to be because the thing is, guys, if you screw up painting the hand, you can put a sud circle on top of it. All right, that's why I put the suds all the way up towards where the hand is. Um, so if you totally screw up painting her hand, you could always just put a sud circle on top of it and no one's going to know the difference. All right, guys? So that's why I put the suds going all the way up her arm. Okay, and then down in the Badonka Donk area, we're going to turn around and put in the little whoop for the glass. The little triangle piece. Okay, on the other side. I have to grab more white paint. Right. Then I had um, I had sud circles up here for the rubber ducky to sit on. Okay, and then I had um, some down coming off of the tail. So you can add as many of these as you want, as little as these as you want. You're going to have them overlapping. Okay. 
and I took them right off the canvas. Okay, and I took um, I took this pile right off the canvas as well. All right, that way it evens out the painting. Right, there's compensation on um, both parts. Hi, Art. How you doing, sweetie? Um. All right, you're in the corner though. <laughs> Art is in the corner. Katie, you get to get out of the corner now. But I do take bribes. And I'm just calling you Arts because that's uh, that's what shows up as your name, Arts and Entertainment. <laughs> Thank you for doing all the sharing that you've been doing. I have noticed, and I appreciate that. Okay, so... Um, now that we have that all taken care of, we can turn around and we can uh, start coloring her in. All right, so I'm going to make um, a peach, right? So I'm going to grab uh, yellow, and I'm going to grab red, and I'm going to grab white. Okay, now you want to make sure you make plenty of this because rematching a skin tone is extremely difficult. So make sure that you make a good pile of peach for yourself. Because I don't know if any of you guys noticed in my original, but her hands are different colors than her body. <laughs> Thank you, Joan, for the stars. Joan, breaking the star barrier. She got us started, everybody. Woohoo! All right, so make sure that you make enough of a peach pile for yourself because it's very hard to rematch this up. Okay, if you have to make more. Okay, and it was uh, yellow, red, and white. And I'm giving this a good mix, okay? So uh, this isn't, we don't want separation of color, we want one solid color. All right, I'm uh, patting my brush into it. I'm get, making it a good mix. I'm making sure it's a nice, seamless color throughout my whole pile. Thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate that, Joan. All right, and now we're just going to come in here and we're going to color. All right, notice I'm holding my brush here, right? So I have control over it. So Eve actually stays in her lines for once. Right? Okay, you could also use your smaller brush if you want to. It's all good. All right? And you're actually going to cut it right here, right where the badonka donk starts to curve. Okay? Right, and uh, I have like all this paint in my brush, so I'm going to actually pull it along the side of my palette here, right, pull my brush along the side of my palette and give it a good scrape to save all that, look at all that paint that was inside of there, you guys see that? So now I'm going to wipe my brush off and then put it in the water, and then put it in the water, right? Why dump all that paint into your water? Just wipe it off first and then put it in your water. Okay, now we have to uh, do the uh, tail, which is uh, green. So, I'm going to turn around and swirl tap dab my brush, and we're going to make a really pretty green. Okay, so yellow, blue, and white. I gotta grab more. Boy, I'm using white paint like a crazy person tonight. You guys notice that? I've turned around and grabbed more white paint like five times already. <laughs> if you're gonna buy paint for yourself, make sure you buy extra white. You actually use white a lot more 
than any of your other colors. So whenever you're buying paint for yourself, get an extra thing of white. All right, just a little tidbit for you. Okay, so uh, green, right? So I'm going to grab uh, white, and I'm going to grab blue, and I'm going to grab yellow. Now, if you want this turquoise, it's more blue than yellow. If you want it to be like a Kelly green, it is more yellow than blue. Okay? So, and again, everything's kind of flat colors here. I want to make sure that this is one big solid color. So, I'm giving it a good mixy mix. All right. Once I have that uh, mixy mixed, now I can color in her tail. Now, I'm going to wind up putting this arm back in. All right, once this green dries, but I'm going to leave it outlined so you guys can kind of see where it is. But you can totally paint over where your arm is and then white paint once the green dries. Okay, so you don't have to worry about keeping the arm not colored in. You can paint right over it and then put it back in later. Shoop. I like the most satisfying thing, just letting the paint glide across the canvas like that. Shoop. It's like really, really satisfying. Oh, and I went out of my lines. What else is new? <laughs> what else is new? Okay, squiggly do. Now, you could always take a smaller brush and make the points of her tail even pointier if you want to. I'm going to pull the excess paint out of this brush. Come in here and shoot. So I was doing my uh, video last night, right guys? And I turned around and I wound up dropping my whole palette on the floor. And then after I dropped my whole palette on the floor and I rested it on the table and was bending over to clean up the heck of a mess that I made, I then turned around and hit the palette and dropped the palette on my head. So there was lots of shenanigans going on last night doing these videos. Okay, big boy's going in the water. I'm taking out mini me. I'm going to grab uh, just blue paint. And I'm going to add some shading to the tail. So I want this area to be darker. So I'm going to zigzag zoom some blue paint on here. Again, if you have a new brush, dab it on. Okay, underneath the tail on this part, very softly, just zigzag zoom this darker colors in. Okay, on this part of her tail. And like I said, you don't have to worry about going around the arm. You could always put the arm back in. I'm just doing it so you can see where the arm is going to stay. All right, I'm going to wipe my brush off. Very important step. Wipe your brush off. And a zigzag zoom between your two colors. So Penny got herself a brush set. I guess I bet you're super excited to use the uh, brushes, Penny. 
I would be nothing like getting new brushes. Okay, then I'm going to come over here and add dark to this side of the tail. And like I said, it would be two to three layers. So basically, you would paint it green, let it dry, and then paint it green again. And then on that wet coat of paint, you would add the uh, the darker colors in. Um, so, you know, shading's always a level up. You could easily keep her tail one solid color. No one's going to bat an eye at that. So, you know, if you uh, practice, and if you don't like it, you could always just paint it back to being solid green again. Okay, you could always paint it back to being solid green. Now I'm grabbing the original green color on my brush to soften out these darker areas. Okay, and I'm going um, away from where the darker area is, and then I'm going to wipe off my brush, and then I'm going to zigzag zoom between the two of them. Or dab. If you're using a newer brush, dab. Wipe my brush off and dab. Okay. So now, now that you have your blues and your greens, um, now you can start uh, coloring in your bubbles, whatever blue colors you want or green colors. Uh, start with the uh, darker bubbles first. Okay, so I'm grabbing a whole lot of blue and a little bit of white, and I'm going to do my darker bubbles first. Okay, and you could always change your colors around um, as far as adding more white or adding more blue, uh, making it darker, making it lighter, but start with your darker bubbles first. Okay, and in your glass as well. And now you can go over her tail, whatever uh, suds are um, on top of her tail. You can go over her tail. Now I'm going to grab more white and we'll do the lighter suds. Okay, and you can put these right on top of the darker ones. Now I'm going to grab some uh, of my green with the white, do a different color.
Now, like I said, everything was like two to three layers. So, in the real world, when I did the darker suds, I turned around and um, let that dry. And then I went and did another layer on the darker suds. Let that dry, okay? And then went in and did the lighter suds on top. Let that dry. Do another coat uh, on the lighter suds, okay? So if you want to turn around and have this be um, extremely bright and extremely um, neat, Okay, in between all of your colors of your suds, you would turn around and let them dry first. Go in and hit it with another layer. And then you turn around and you will put in your lighter suds on top of it. Okay, and then you can turn around and do another layer on your lighter suds, and then you can turn around and do even lighter suds once that dries on top of that. All right, so in the real world, and uh, if you want these to be very neat and very bright, you'd let, you'd do about two to three layers of color on each circle. And you're going to let it dry in between those layers. Okay, guys? So, but you start with your dark and you go lighter and lighter as you uh, add more suds. Oh, getting the extra brush set. You could turn around and have uh, supplies for home and supplies for treatment. That's awesome, Penny. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next thing we need to do is your bubbles. Now, when I painted these bubbles, I was actually filming. So my, my white um, rim around the bubble came out thicker than what I would normally do it to make it look like a see-through bubble. So I'm going to grab uh, Mr. Nifty. Okay, close up, and thank you so much for the stars, Joan. I appreciate that. We're at 200 stars. You guys got a long way to go to reach that goal. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nifty, white paint, and a really thin line for the bubble. Okay, and you can put these bubbles... wherever your little heart desires okay so I'm gonna do um, I just put my hand my arm in my suds <laughs> you guys see that <laughs> I just put my arm right in here <laughs> which is extremely wet <laughs> don't do that okay so there is our bubbles and you can do bubbles on the other sides and all sorts of bubbles so you want to map them in. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to color in, uh, I'm going to put in how her hair is going to be. So I'm going to grab uh, Mini Me. Swirl tap that Mini Me, get all that blue out of him. All of the blue out of him. And I'm grabbing uh, white. And I'm grabbing some yellow with some red in it. Okay, color this in. When you hit her neck, you're just going to zigzag zoom a little bit on the top of the neck. Okay. And then I got to put the uh, bun on the top of her head. Okay, so it's just a uh, just an oval. Right? And then we're going to take um, Mr. Nifty again. 
and I'm going to grab white paint and we're going to do the squiggly do's coming out from the side of the bun. Okay, and then I had squiggly do's coming out from the bottom of her hair. Alright, now, the um, next thing I want to do is I want to map out my ducky, so I'm going to keep Mr. Nifty in my hand, and we're going to come up here. And Mr. Ducky is a swoop, swoop. Okay, and he's um, an oval on top of the swoop here. Robert Ducky, you're the one. You make bedtime lots of fun. Robert Ducky, and then this is rounded, swoop, round that part. Give him a tail. Rubber ducky, you're the only one for me to do, 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 do. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, you're the only one for me. And we need to map out our book. Okay, so just a line. Whoop. And angle out, angle out, another line, straight down, these angles right here, boop, match these angles, boop, there it is, this angle matches this angle, boop, there it is, okay, that's where our book's going to go. Moving right along, everybody, if you guys have any questions, let me know, 6,000%. Okay, guys, everyone's mellow tonight, y'all. Y'all are mellow. Mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. All right. So we have our book. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, um, now, I want to turn around and put in the pieces of my glass. So I'm going to turn around and take Mr. Nifty and white paint. Now, say all my suds are colored in, right? Everything's colored just the way I want it to be. Um, and everything else is done, okay? So what I'm going to do is I got to re-put in the shape of the glass because you see the corner of the glass over her tail. So I'm going to follow this up, place my hand, move my hand, not the brush. I'm going to follow this up, okay, to where the corner was originally. right and this side the corner stays hidden behind the suds so once I have that corner back in I'm going to just swoop this across the whole thing Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab more white paint, and I want to put this line in better. Okay, also uh, cut over any bubbles that are on the edge. Cut this line in better. Then I'm going to go down the sides. You know that song from Sesame Street, right, Tina? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to go down my sides here of my stem. Robert Ducky, you're the one. Uh, Elmo sings it. Hi, Cindy. How are you doing, sweetheart? All right, Arts is out of the corner. Cindy, guess where you're going? I do take bribes, though. <laughs> okay, and do the white down this edge. And 
And then we're going to turn around and do um, the other little piece of a loop. Now, your glass is going to pick up the colors that are around it. So, uh, where the suds were, I put some stripes of the sud colors. Okay, whatever colors those were. And then the same in the glass. And <laughs> that's hysterical, Tina. Now I'm going to grab more white paint and add the white to the reflections. Okay, if you want more in-depth on how to paint glass, I do have a how-to video on YouTube on how to paint glass. I'm going to take uh, some dark right here, fill in that little pocket that's in the bottom of the glass. Right, just like that. Wipe my brush off. Add some lighter areas. All right. Now, um, the bubbles. The bubbles. Uh, hi, Gloria. How are you doing, sweetheart? Um, all right, Cindy, that was a quick jaunt in the corner because now Gloria's going in the corner. <laughs> Gloria, you're late. You are late. Sorry guys, I'm getting a drink of water and I just dropped the bottle. <coughs> Alright, now, with all this uh, dry, everything that's dry here, okay, I'm going to take a uh, tiny, I'm going to grab my white paint and I'm going to put my arms back in. Right, and on the other side. So, like I said, when you color these things in, you don't have to worry about keeping, um, you know, the arms not painted on. You could always just put them back in after the fact. Okay, so I just left them out so you can see where they were the whole time. Okay, because you're just going to take white paint and you're going to put them back in. Right? So, when I do the lower half of the arm, I put I put the brush here and then as I work my way to the elbow, I just press harder. So you have that gradual um of it getting thicker without giving her really fat wrists. All right, so that's how I do that trick. Okay, now um, we need to paint our book in. So I'm just going to grab some blue uh, with that peach. Get myself a brown or maybe a little bit of, um, all right, blue with that peach or black with that peach to make yourself a brown. We got to color in our book.
Now, whatever colors I am doing these final uh, coloring with, right? So, um, I'm going to turn around, and if I have a bubble near that object, I'm going to put the color in the bubble. And you're just going to do curved swipes of whatever that color is. And you want to put it on both sides. Okay, so whatever object, if there's a bubble near it, as you're doing the object with the color you're doing it, make sure you put in little curved lines of that color into your bubble. Okay, and our book had some pages in it, so I'm just going to grab some white paint and do some squiggle doos of pages here. All right, just like that, easy peasy, lime and squeezy. Um, swirl tap dab in my brush. I'm gonna go back to my yellow with the small amount of red in it. And I'm going to color in the uh, stray pieces of hair. Okay, and this bubble is on the side of where her hair is, so I'm going to put the yellow in the bubble as well. Okay, same with this bubble. Now, to shade her hair was uh, yellow and uh, red. Okay, no white in it, just yellow and red. Okay, you're going to make yourself like a little orangey color. And where the bun and the hair meet, you want to do some flicks. Okay, at the bottom of her hair, you're going to do some flicks. Okay, maybe some in the bun. Right now, I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to grab yellow paint and flick that through. Okay, and like I said, the more layers you do, the better it's going to look. So once this dries, you can add some more of the orange. You can add some more of the yellow. Turn around and you just put these little uh, flick lines through it so it looks like hair. Okay, so where the hair meets the neck, where the bun is. Right, the top here where the bun meets, and then the bottom of the bun. You're going to do those flicks. Okay, and then you can put a little bit of the darker color in her stray hair pieces. Okay, just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Not hard at all. It's flicky doos. You guys can do flicky doos. You can do flicky doos. Okay, so that being said, I need a soda. I'm out of coffee. That's part of the problem here. I am out of coffee. 
I need coffee. What? I need soda. Grabbing soda. <laughs> guys ready? You guys ready for the best sound ever? Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the stars, guys. Um, don't forget that there's Venmo, PayPal, and uh, Cash App also. We're at 200 stars. Thank you, Joan. We're really far away from that, uh, that goal. <laughs> it's the end of the month. <laughs> I just dropped Nifty. Mr. Nifty disappeared. Oh, and if you guys send me $5 or more in support, don't forget to uh, direct message me through Facebook with your address. So, um, I need to grab more yellow paint. Like, I did her hair using that tiny little bit of yellow I had right there. <laughs> Tell me. Say, Eve, grab more paint. Stop being lazy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm grabbing uh, some white with my yellow. I'm going to color in my rubber ducky. Right? I'm going to put in uh, some squiggle doos of the loofah. And again, if you screw up her hand, you could always just put the loofah so it's taking over her entire hand. Okay, so uh, there's ways to hide the hand in this painting, and I did that on purpose. Okay, I did that on purpose. So if you mess up the hand, that's okay. Right, now I'm going to grab my peach. I made that huge pile before, so my colors match up. And I am going to color in her arms. And you color in her arm over here. And that's why you made that huge pile before. So when you do the arms, when you do the hands, when you do all of this stuff, it matches the rest of her. Okay. Now, I'm going to take Mr. Nifty, and I'm going to take white paint, and we want to do the hands. All right? So, close up. The, uh, you're going to do a little uh, triangle. Okay, and then the thumb is coming out the side and actually disappearing under the book. I'm on your favorite part here, uh, Tina, the details. And then the fingers are one, two, three. Okay, and if you mess up her hand, that's all right. Just put a, a, a suds, um, <laughs> if you mess, practice her hand. Hands are a level up. I know they're tricky. They're small. They got lots of parts to them. Uh, if you mess them up, just put a sud circle over the top of them. Or like with this one, right, my triangle. Okay, or with this one, you could always just have the loofah covering the hand. So, one, two, 
three, four, and the thumb. Okay? So if you mess up the hand, you can have the loofah covering that hand, and you can have a sud circle covering the other hand. It's all good. All right, so the next thing I want to do is in my bubbles, right? Now, I want to show you the bubbles on the original. So whatever colors are around the bubble, you put in the bubble, okay? Once you have them in the bubble, let me put some uh, blue in this bubbles so you can see what I'm talking about. So let me throw some blue in here real quick. And you put it on the other side also. And I'm doing curved swipes. So whatever colors are around the bubble, that's what you put in the bubble. All right, let's let that dry a second. Let me paint in our hands. And you guys are going to be all set. You're going to be all set. So let me color in our hands. Okay, and uh, so there's a spot on the event page to uh, post your finished paintings. Okay, share your creations, guys. I want to see them. All right, we share as a family. Everyone's at a different level, so make sure you share your creations. Uh, I try to give feedback on everyone's post. All right, and you guys can uh, give feedback to each other, support each other in our journey. All right, support each other in your journey. Everyone might be at a different spot or a different level, and that's okay. You all got to start somewhere. You sketch out something, thinking of doing it like a coloring book, all outlined with paint pens, and then color it in. Oh, that sounds cool. You do that graphic style really well, too, Tina. So, you do that really well. All right. And you could, uh, you know, grab more white paint to fix up any highlights in your glass. Okay. And then, I got to grab some more white paint. I'm getting these uh, suds colors all over my arm. <laughs> I am literally just as sudsy as the mermaid. Look, look at my hand. Uh, look at my arm. <laughs> I have just as many suds on myself as, as the mermaid does. Alright, now, when you go to do your bubbles, okay, once you have the colors earthquake, once you have the colors in there, and they're dry, you're going to take white paint. Yes, very true, Tina. You're going to take white paint, okay? And you're going to go on the edges. You do a line, and then you could do a couple of dots. I just got more suds on myself. Look, see? <laughs> That's because I scribbled these in, and they were really thick, so they're really wet. Okay, so you're going to do a line, um, curved line with dots. And then in the bubble, you want to do the little uh, swoop piece like that. Right? So on the outer edge, you're going to do a line and then dots. And then on the inside, you want to do the shoot piece. All right, one more time. Line. Dots. Okay. And then inside the bubble, the shoot piece. And then you could also do pieces 
dots under that. And then, if you want to add the shine piece, it's just straight lines coming out from the side of the bubble. Thank you, Joan, for the stars. I sweet, appreciate that, sweetheart. You're amazing. You're a rock star. Okay, and there is your bubbles. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, you guys are, uh, thank you so much, Joan. I appreciate that. You guys keep the lights on, that is for sure. Okay, and if you guys are watching the replay, don't forget, easeartistry.com. Uh, you hit the support button, and it brings you to all of my links. So you guys have all the tools that you need to paint uh, Sudsy uh, Mermaid cocktails. All right, guys. So you're back, and she's coming along nicely. Excellent, Becky. I appreciate that. <laughs> Who's coming along nicely? Wait, the mermaid or something else going on? Did I miss something? I don't know, I thought maybe somebody was having a baby or something. <laughs> 6,000%. All right, guys. Uh, Y'all warm my heart. I love you very, very, very much. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Don't, um, oh, next Friday's painting. You're right, Sam. Thank you. You got it. Okay, guys. So, next Friday's painting. This is the premiere look at it. It's also going to be the Live and Large Series 10. been a while since uh, I think I've only done one other lighthouse um, as a paint party like three years ago so I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, lots and lots and lots of ocean suds I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, the sky with all the pretty colors teach you how to paint a lighthouse we got rocks again okay show you the rocks all right so this is going to be next Fridays and uh, also it's going to be the live and large series series 10 okay so lots and lots and lots of good stuff in here six thousand percent Thank you. You like it, Becky? Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Glad you like it, because we're going to be painting it. Alright, so. Your dad would love that? <laughs> well, after I paint with it, uh, you can uh, buy it for your dad. <laughs> Alright, I love you all. You all wear my heart. Don't forget, um, thank you, Penny. Thank you, Becky. I will see you guys next Friday. All right. Um, if you sent me support, cash up, PayPal, Venmo, um, through the support button on my website. If it's more than $5, make sure you uh, private message me your address so you can get your free gift. Uh, thank you so much, Joan, for the 400 stars tonight. I appreciate you. You all warm my heart. Have fun. Go create. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.